Okay, good people of the internet. Uh, I'm here with Pax Stevens. Great hauling, by the way, Pax. Gorgeous creature. We're gonna go hunting for reindeer, also ptarmigan on this trip. Here you can see one of the most famous waterfalls in the country. Beautiful waterfall called Skovafoss. You're also gorgeous. Great hauling on it. Uh, um, yeah, we're driving east pretty much as far as, as we can go on the other side of the country from Reykjavik. We were on the south coast, one of the most popular tours that I operate. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So please uh, stay tuned and follow us on this journey. Okay guys, so we're driving for 7-8 hours or something to the place where we're gonna end up and we're just taking a little pit stop here on the way You can see Orca and Misi are out Glacier Stunning This area is so beautiful We are um, approaching the Glacier Lagoon One of the most famous landmarks or, or tourist sites here in the country. So here you can see the icebergs flowing down the river, the lagoon, down this river and into the ocean. Such a beautiful place. Glacier there in the back. Okay guys, so we were driving here on the highway. We spotted a big group of reindeer from the car. So tomorrow we are going to be looking for a female deer because Garðar um, has a license to hunt that. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's hope uh, we will find them as easily tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the morning of Friday the 11th of November. We are gonna head out now. Just getting, uh, just getting daylight. It's a beautiful day and we're gonna go and try to find some reindeer. Okay guys, so we're seeing deer here, you can see them running. First sign of reindeers this morning. Four reindeer. Earlier in the reindeer hunting season, it is usually way more challenging to find the deer. Uh, this was in November, which is considered late in the season. It's already gotten uh, colder, so the deer move further down to the lower uh, grounds. So uh, finding them on this trip was pretty easy uh, compared to most times.
bera allt eftir maskur núna sér lengi Svo er einn sem er rassinn í okkur Já Svo er einn hérna sem dýr beint á okkur Já, hérna þjóð taka hann að þeirra og hvernig hliðar Já, já Já Það er þannig ekki? Það er þannig ekki? Það er þannig ekki? Það er þannig ekki? Ok, það er þannig ekki? 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 Um þetta er að segja þetta er young female The rest of the herd is over there Didn't go very far Alright ladies and gentlemen It didn't take very long for us to locate the deers and, and get one down um, Now we are driving back for a few minutes to a special spot where we are going to skin the deer and work on it so for the rest of the day we are gonna process the deer um, do everything right when it comes to that then maybe we'll take me and orca for a walk look for a mink or something get ready for tomorrow we're gonna be hunting uh, ptarmigan tomorrow in a new area i've never been to super excited about that Okay guys, so as we are driving up to the house or the farm where Guðmundur lives, we are spotting reindeer on his land, off there in the hillside, I don't know if I can see it, there they are. How many, because there are many, Guðmundur, 20 deers maybe, just off there. Okay, so now we are going to skin the deer. So um, we are outside now, down by the coast, or on the shore, on the farm that we are uh, staying at. We're gonna walk here with Misi and Orka, see if we can find any mink. It looks pretty likely actually, but uh, there isn't a lot of mink in this area from what I hear, which is awesome. There's a good job uh, by the locals or, or the ones who are hunting the mink here. They've been doing a good job throughout the years from what I hear. Yep, so Misi and Orka are way out there somewhere. It is so photogenic right now. There's this mist over everything, no wind. Nature born. Because hey. Yeah, I don't know if it could get any more photogenic than it is right now. Yeah, I'm all wet in the groin area because of this. It's uh, crazy. No mink to be found. So, we're driving here in Tjupevor. We have reindeer here on the soccer field. And then here outside this house, there's a ptarmigan in the trees. Is that what you're saying? Yes, 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 yes. There's a ptarmigan there. So these two species are what we are after. They are here, side by side. Okay, boys. Me and Parks, we are um, driving here up a valley called Fossadalur. We are getting close to the snow line. 
super excited. I love exploring new areas, hunting new places. Never been here in my life. <coughs> Parks. Yes. Let's fucking rock and roll, motherfucker. You're seeing snow, that is always good wild termagon hunting. That's where they like to hang out because they're all white and they camouflage easily in the snow. Okay, boys, so uh, we are way up there now, up in the highlands. You can see the fog moving away down there. We're having some difficulties with this pile of snow here. Let's see if Gara can make it this time. Hell yeah! Yes! <laughs> it is often sad that the camera doesn't do it any justice. Getting very excited about ptarmigan hunt today. Hopefully we can get some birds. They've been seeing a lot of birds, the locals are telling us, but uh, they fly up early. So we just stopped here. Yeah, my friends, right away. Me and Parks are setting the GPS. You should always bring your GPS while upland hunting or ptarmigan hunting. So yeah, we're just waiting for the clock to be 12. You're not allowed to start hunting before 12. So um, a few minutes more of waiting and then we head out. Okay guys, we have caught the first bird. It was really shy or jumped up really quickly. Okay, boys, we are walking here. Tarmogan footprints everywhere. Here you can see their nests. This is where they spent the night. It's a few days old. There are like six or seven nests here. Shit, it looks to be new. Here you can see uh, the wings where it took off. So, I uh, only seen that one bird. A lot of footprints, but probably old, all of them. Uh, it's so likely it's unreal. Let's continue. Okay, boys, so finally we've seen a couple of birds. We went to the car, refueled. Decided to uh, go more where the snow and the, you know, grass or moss where they mix together so they can eat. We figured they'd be here where they can both, you know, hide and eat. Seems to be paying off so far. Only a few minutes of walk from the car and we've already spotted two birds. Okay guys, so we have a group of maybe six, seven birds. Here on the hillside, they are really spooky, so they're flying, walking pretty fast. Let's see if we can make this happen. They are sitting here on the rock. Uh, Gardar is going to start from the bottom of the group. I'm starting from the top. They are pretty spooky, yeah. yeah. So uh, they're running. Probably gonna fly off soon. Ah, Reynir. One down at least. Okay, so first bird down. Okay, let me see, Karar. Beautiful bird. Yeah, let's rock rock and roll. Funny how it goes. I had the GoPro on for a while now, walking here. Oh, Carla just shot at something.
Did you get that bird that you just shot at, Garðar? Yes, three birds. Haha, <laughs> two birds. Mine is there. Fucking bit. Mine is just here in my food tracks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Her beak is purple from eating the berries. Garðar just saw us seven birds fly up. Landed somewhere here, it's hard to say. Didn't see them land. But this is so likely, we've been seeing a lot of birds. But they are uh, very spooky. Okay boys, I have a bird. Garðar, ég með fugl fyrir fram á mig, ég sé bara einn, nei, Garðar, ég með nokkra fugl að fram á mig, ég með hóp hérna. Ok, þeir. Ég sé þig ekki, sko. There's a group of birds in front of me, guys. Should be a bird here in the rocks. Here's one. And there's another one down there. So here is the second one. Two birds from this group. That's pretty good. Happy with that. Uh, we've gotten five birds. Seen a few, they are pretty spooky, fly up quickly or early, footprints are all over here, there should be five, six birds at least, you can see tarmacan footprints everywhere, these birds uh, flew this way from that group I just cut the two from, so uh, hopefully we can Spot them again. Garðar, you see that? I can see a bird in front. There's a bird there walking on the snow. They're about to fly off, I think. Are you fully fired? Got two here. There she is, she's still alive, poor thing. Garðar, pretty sure that they landed somewhere here. We're not seeing them. But we are getting pretty stimulated. Okay. Might be here. Hatnerein, there's a termagon on top. At least one. Gardar takes this one. Okay, one of Borda. She's eating calmly. Okay. One of she's still eating. Hey, that's not. On the roller. She's calm still. Here we have shotgun. Yeah. Okay, no one on the Great shot, Mr. Parks. Great shot. Good shot by Mr. Park Stevens. Great holding on his behalf, like always. Mojo. Thank you all. Good job, my friend. Good people of the internet. I'm here with a legend, Park Stevens. It's been an unreal weekend. We uh, started the tour by getting a reindeer. First time that I experienced that. Pretty well uh, executed by Parks and Guðmundur. 
Um, we did go mink hunting yesterday in one of the most epic, I don't know, photogenic day I've ever seen probably. And now we have eight birds in completely perfect conditions basically. Consider subscribing to the channel, like the video if you did like it. Thank you for watching. Icelandic Elements is a private tour company. You can find all the information about the tours in the links in the descriptions. Thanks for finishing and watching the whole video.